Hey guys, JC6 here, back at you with Phoenix Wright. Let me, um, well, hold up. Any, have you guys seen the episode before? Well, 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 let me take, well, let me take a drink for. Oh, well, so this is Phoenix Wright, um, uh, Ace Attorney. We're on case five. Well, last time we were having trouble getting past the part where we were taking fingerprints. But right now, I finally figured out what we're actually supposed to be doing. I mean, I mean, see, this is the secret. Basically, what happened last time was that there's there's two ways you can do a battle. You can try to um, use actual have the emulator pick up your the voice the sound from your voice or you can try to set the microphone to a to a hot key on the keyboard so you can do this yeah see I don't even have to blow on the screen I don't even have to actually do the actual sound I can just press the hot key and the thing will just blow away. Aha, you did it! You found one! This looks nothing like a fingerprint. I guess it doesn't. We're out of luck! Left this finger must have worn gloves. Yeah, I mean... I don't, I don't know, um... I guess that's that's the that's a cool thing about you know I, I just like when I whenever I play games I, I don't I'm not really looking to you know use my voice unless it's like you know like a singing game or something but this it's like this I just screw it trying to use your voice for this kind of game kinda I don't know just messes with the flow it just the game doesn't flow as, cause you get all fancy and stuff with the voice thing, then the thing just gets complicated. Oh yeah, we're supposed to go back. Huh, it won't let me, what the? Huh? Wait a second, did, did we? Wait, what's 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 going on here? And my controls are freezing up on me for some. What the heck? Oh, okay. We're supposed to examine. Okay. Okay. The. Basically, they want me to examine nearby fingerprints, so pretty much the game wouldn't let me exit the screen because it wants me to continue. Yeah, so you just put all this powder on, do a lot of clicking, press the space key. Yeah, press the space key. And bam! Bingo! Yeah, thank goodness, you know, thank goodness Phoenix only pretty much only works three days a week in the month, like, the dude doesn't, he doesn't even work, like, uh, I'm not joking, you really, Phoenix, if you look at the cases that he has and how they're spaced out, he really, he actually does only work three days every few months, I mean, I'm, I'm not, I'm serious. Let's see. Let's see. What's what's she saying? The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? 
the prince probably don't have anything to do with our case. Okay, this is just a practice thing. It's pretty much. Um, it's pretty much we're trying to. Um, I, I already know which person it is because I still remember enough from this case. It's I think it's Gumshoe's locker, right? So it's gotta be Gumshoe's. I mean, you could pretty much guess if you knew this was Gumshoe's locker. You can you could just tell that it would probably be his fingerprint too. So. Sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches. Oh yeah, there's... Yeah, there's... Yeah, what you... I think what, what ha what's going on here is you have to do the... Luminol testing again. After you find the fingerprints... You, you gotta... Yeah... You have to examine this locker, I think, to... Oh yeah, we got... Oh yeah, we... Yeah, check for prints. The area with the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding it through chemical means. Alright, so that means no prints. So basically, she, she say, I think what she's trying, what she, we all, we have to find the ones that's not smeared, I guess. I'm gonna try to find like, oh shoot, I'm trying to look for fingerprints. And, uh, Yeah, we got, I think we should, I'm trying to press. Oh, I have to actually click on the finger, jeez. <laughs> uh, they, they actually want me to click on. Yeah, I'm clicking, but. Okay, 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 I think I know what's going on. I think. Oh yeah, you have to, you have to examine the. The, you can say you have to examine the invisible handprints, I guess. Okay, you just click, you just start doing a lot of clicking, hotkey this thing. Huh. Okay, that didn't work. Oh, um, maybe it's maybe it's this one. Huh. This is. I mean, this. I guess once you get used to it. I mean, I just like. Let's say I like the. I like the shortcut for the microphone. You know, it's like you just press it. Bam. Yeah, I, I, yeah, the one person you're supposed to pick. I mean, I've seen this already. I'm not going to pretend I don't know. I just... It's Jake Marshall.
I mean, I remember. I don't remember everything about the case, but I remember enough. You know, I remember like some parts. It's gotta be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. He's slightly different from Gumshoe's prince. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on the white blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall Yeah, that's bad because it means that why would there be blood on your hands like I mean if it was just his handprint that wouldn't be a problem but the fact there is is connected with blood that means he's pretty much our prime suspect right now okay finally we are in the court proceedings Oh man, that was a. Uh, I'm. Well, finally getting really, really close to the end. After the court proceedings. Um. Let, let, let me let me just tell you guys that this is gonna be one of the long, probably. Um, probably is case three was probably the longest case for the entire game, I think. I mean, I think it was either case three or this case. That's that's the longest one. And all nighters. And what's the what's the bargain? Let me let me hear this. Truth behind the simultaneous murder, capital punishment. Well, that's still no good. You may still get. 10 years in prison, so that's still, shoot, I, I mean, that still, that still sucks, so, I mean, that's, that's, a, I don't, I, uh, let me, yeah. So you discovered traces left by a certain person in the police department's evidence room. Hmm. Oh yeah, we, we're pretty much gonna blame it all on Marshall, I guess. Um, yeah. It's fine if it's, I guess... I guess we're going, I mean if, come on, let's, court is now in session for the trial of Ms. Lana Sky. The defense is ready, your honor. Prosecution is, hmm, hmm I'm afraid you'll have to clarify. It takes 30 minutes by car to reach criminal affairs from the prosecutor's office. The victim Bruce Goodman was a slain at both places at the same time. That's not physically possible, is it? From the evidence room just disappeared. One of my duties as prosecutors is to present impartial evidence. I will present evidence to related to the murder at the police department. I believe the way in which we should proceed will reveal itself. Yeah, Mr. Edgeworth. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, well, you know. The prosecutor called the so called murderer. Oh man, I, it's Lana Sky. Is it Lana Sky? 
The suspect? Oh, it's Meekins. I've... Let's see. Guys, I'm gonna have to stop it right here. Next time we will see what Edgeworth has to say about Meekins. Um, take care everybody. I will see you. I will, um, uh, I will see you guys next time.